practice of the institution's innovation council of ICMO. Today, we have organized a talk on the title, Demystifying Innovation, by our eminent speaker, Dr. Shinu Jain. Before I invite our speaker, I would like to request Dr. Ubi Sharma to say a few words. Dr. Sharma, please. Thank you, Dr. Mamita Das, and good morning to all of you. Uh, I welcome Dr. Shinu Jain, and we are really thankful to you that you could find time to um, interact with our students and faculty on this very important day, uh, though that day falls on 15th October, but uh, celebration doesn't have any boundary. We can celebrate any time. In fact, that is a reminder just that we should think about innovation every time. And uh, as Dr. Mamita has mentioned, uh, Dr. Kalam had always uh, inspired, motivated youngsters and uh, children and everybody towards innovation. He always uh, advocated for innovation and creativity in day-to-day uh, -day life, in teaching, learning, and in every walk of life. Uh, after this uh, initiative of the Ministry of Education uh, to promote innovation and entrepreneurship uh, in higher education system, it has become more relevant, basically. Whatever he had been advocating, he had been uh, encouraging the, uh, the children towards innovation. Now it has become a part and parcel of our teaching learning system. Almost all our higher education institutions, they are now very actively promoting and supporting innovation in, um, in their uh, um, uh, curricular or co-curricular activities. And as a result of that, we all know that our um, students, they are now uh, coming up with very new, innovative, unique ideas, unique solutions to the problems around them, to the problems uh, faced by the society, by the country. Um, a number of uh, very big programs uh, are being organized by the by the government, maybe in the form of uh, Smart India Hackathon, National Innovation Contest, or other challenges. Uh, in, in these all, we know that innovative mindset is very much required. And on this very important day of uh, National Innovation Day, uh, if we are able to inspire our students and then uh, clarify the things related to innovation, then I think it will be a great contribution for our, from our side. And in that context, I would like to thank our regional center, uh, Jaipur, to take this initiative uh, to organize uh, this webinar on, um, on this National Innovation Day. Um, that webinar is on demystifying the innovations. Um, we know that we have been talking about the innovation, but what is the concept and how we can understand, how we can implement it in our day to day life, um, how we can find the solution to the problems uh, faced by the society. I hope uh, today's session will be uh, clarifying many of your doubts. And uh, we have very experienced and eminent speaker with us. So we are really thankful to you, Dr. Sinu Janji. And uh, I hope this session will be very useful for the students and faculty. So let us listen to her. Um, and then uh, we can make it more interactive and interesting by asking questions. Whatever you are having doubts or problems in your mind, uh, if you have done something innovative, you can also share um, if you find that that is innovative or and, um, uh, how that can be improvised, uh, what kind of uh, changes, modifications could be brought. So that way you can make it a more interesting and interactive also. So you are all most welcome. And then enjoy the session today. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Mamita. You can take it further. Thank you, Dr. Sharma. Uh, now I would request Dr. Mamta Bhatia, Regional Director, Regional Center, Jaipur. To say a few words, please, Dr. Bhatti. Namaskar, all of you. A hearty welcome to the, my colleagues and team members from NCID, Dr. Sharma, Dr. Monika, and our eminent speaker, Dr. Shini Jain. Uh, thanks to you and a hearty welcome to you from IGNU family, all my colleagues from different regional centers, the regional directors, the two directors, those who have joined the meeting, my family counselors, and also the coordinators. I welcome you all to this uh, lecture webinar on National Innovation Day. Innovation, as you all know, has become the buzzword today. And we all talk about it in so many contexts. 
and uh, I think it is again time to reflect upon that what innovation is and what it is not, and how do we synchronize innovation, technology, business strategy? As uh, Dr. Sharma has said, we, all over the country, India rather has become one of the world leaders in promoting innovation and startups, and all the higher educational institutions they are promoting uh, and motivating their learners to. Uh, join this uh, venture and uh, join this uh, stream and uh, encouraging them to find solutions to the problems which uh, are occurring near them in their day-to-day -day life. So without taking much time, let's move on to Dr. Srinu Jain and hear what she has to say about it. Welcome, Dr. Srinu. Thank you so much, Dr. Mamta. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Professor Sharma, for these wonderful words. I really look forward to this uh, particular session. Uh, thank you. I thank you, Dr. Mamta. And uh, I uh, would like to introduce our speaker today. And uh, it is my pleasure to welcome today's speaker, Dr. Shinu Jain, who will be speaking on the topic, Demystifying Innovation. Dr. Shinu Jain is Associate Professor of Marketing Chair, Center for Innovation, Incubation, and Entrepreneurship, CIIE. And Chair, Marketing and Communications at IIHMR, Jaipur. She is also the co-founder at IIHMR Startups. With more than 17 years of experience as marketing and entrepreneurship educator, she is a competent writer, startup enthusiast, master trainer for management programs, she has earned her PhD degree in green marketing. Dr. Jen was selected as young management scholar and she headed the Center for Entrepreneurship and Innovation at IIM Calcutta. Dr. Jen is a certified entrepreneurship educator, master trainer, trainer and mentor from ISP Hyderabad and the National Entrepreneurship Network. Dr. Jen, has more than 30 papers and 15 cases published in various referee journals of national and international repute. Her area of interest includes behavioral communication, understanding the consumer mind, green marketing, digital marketing, retail management, design thinking, and entrepreneurship. I welcome Dr. Shinu Jain to deliver her talk on the topic, Demystifying Innovation. Dr. Jain. Thank you so much, Dr. Das, for such an illustrious uh, introduction. I don't think, uh, you know, I'll be able to meet up to the expectations, but I'll certainly try to, you know, uh, uh, talk about it. Let me just share my screen. Visible? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yes. Um, I mean, there are audio also. In case if you are not able to hear in between, please let me know since I'm on the other screen. And yes. Anyone, please feel free to stop me in between. I would love to have it as an interactive session. All right. So let's let's begin talking about innovation. Uh, this is something which is very, very close to my heart because I, I often talk about business model innovation and, uh, you know, talk to the students about doing something creative, doing something different all the time. So uh, when Mamta Mam approached about this, I was more than happy to talk about it. Um, let's go step by step and try to understand. This word and phrase, as ma'am said, has rightly become a very budge word these days. You know, wherever you go in the corporate boardrooms, you talk to the people outside. In fact, this morning only on one of the radio advertisements I was listening from a university, they were using USP as an entrepreneurship and innovation. So, you know, this has become so much work. Budge word. In fact, this year when Prime Minister announced the National Startup Day, we all can understand and see how entrepreneurship and innovation is going hand in hand in this country. But some of the words that you hear in most often in the speeches are like, innovation is one of our pillars. We believe in falling fast and learning faster. 
We listen to the consumer and test every solution. And of course, the trendiest one, we have a startup mindset. You know, so these are the words that you hear often, which people are talking these days. But what it is actually, if you look at it, the word innovation has been derived from a Latin word called innovate, which means to renew, to do something different to an existing thing. But most of the time, people think that they've discovered something is an innovation. There is invention and there is innovation. All the three things are going on. So when we say discovery, it's basically the development of a new idea, something which is not existing earlier and we have discovered it for the first time. Then we going more deeper into it. It is invention when it is a purposeful implementation of those ideas. It's not just a discovery, but it can be purposefully implemented. And then falls your innovation where we say that exploitation of inventions to create economic and social value. Innovation is all about behavioral change. Innovation is all about creating social and economic value. Innovation is all about commercialization. Innovation is not just Innovation is not just discovery of new idea or development of new idea. And then, of course, on these dimensions, you apply creativity. And you'll find that there are two sets of people. There are finders and there are makers. As we are from education discipline, we all can understand that we have a science stream and we have an art stream, right? So people in the finders category are basically from engineering and science stream who do discovery and inventions right? They are the finders. And then there are makers like artists and management people, you know, who, who work on inventions and then they convert these inventions into innovations, right? So you discover, when you discover new ideas, you are discovering knowledge, you are discovering concepts. When you get into inventions, you, you invent technologies, you invent business models, and when we talk about innovation, you convert them into useful implementations, which could be a you know, newly devised product or service and which has a commercialized value to it. So as I said, components of an innovation is moving from a scientific discovery to invention, to innovation, to even market where you are going about commercializing, right? If the scientific discovery has no instantaneous commercial value, that, that's there. There are multiple thousands of products which get discovered every year, but not all of them become an innovative product. Why? Because they don't have commercial value. They don't have socioeconomic value. When it moves to invention, you know, uh, may never be developed into a marketable product. Of course, it sounds like a good invention, good product. It can be implemented and used also. But people don't find it as a, as a large market for a product. Innovation means the market starts adopting invention. And when you move to market, it is pure commercialization of a product. Let's try and decode it. What is innovation? Innovation is the introduction of new ideas goods, services, and practices which are intended to be useful. Some, some product which can be used by people. There are number of unsuccessful innovations can be found throughout the history. Number of, we'll talk about that. So the process is very simple. Uh, invention change into a useful implementation is called innovation. And the main driver for innovation is often the courage and energy to better the world. An essential element for innovation is its application in commercialization. Can you see a couple of pictures here on the screen? There was a product like baby cage or Segway or phone fingers. They were, they were discovered, they were invented also. People call them kind of innovations also, but they would not really be able to commercialize to a greater extent. 
and the reason was very simple people felt that you know without phone finger i can still survive i don't need it you know to that extent but if i move to this particular direction you know if i look at broadband or smartphone or mri machines probably i'll realize that these are the products without which i cannot even imagine my life today without smartphones we eat we sleep we drink phone today the very first thing that we look for in the morning is our smartphones and if i ask a very simple question when phones were invented i remember way back um, the the product came in somewhere in early 90s uh, in indian market phone was only used to make phone calls nothing else and today your smartphone is really smart if i'll ask you to maybe list down 10 20 50 products which can be replaced by smartphone i'm sure you all can do it in next couple of seconds you know just just give it 30 second thought and if anyone would like to answer in the chat box we'll be very happy to hear that what all products has been replaced by your smartphone for example alarm clock for example calendar for example watch similarly can you think about some 10 20 products which has been replaced by the smartphone today some of you would like to write in chat box or you want like to speak yes mirror very nice just think about it just look at the phone and you know the list can go on and on music player yes television radio music system calculator meeting room which we are using right now yes diaries voice recorders alarm clock timers um, um you know stopwatch measurement um photos video apps news compass absolutely i mean we can just go on and on and that's exactly innovation because it not just have a technological or uh, you know product innovation it also has a torch yes it also has a commercial angle to it and with that commercial angle you know these products have become much part and parcel of our life and that's exactly is important so innovation is equals to invention plus commercialization innovation is not just technology not just product or process right as i said it has to be commercialized it has to have societal value it has to change and bring in the human behavior okay let's have a look at it the television how the i uh, sorry the, the the telephone how the idea has evolved over a period of time i'm sure many of you might remember these uh, you know um, phones where we had these dials and the the bigger uh, uh, handset to pick with the wired one and you know you need to dial your numbers then the normal ones which has a dialer into it then came the digit ones then came cordless ones then came wireless ones mobile phone with digits smartphones smartphones also has multiple options that has come up and now we are back with landline phones which has touch screen facebook whatsapp everything that's how the ideas get evolved over a period of time so is this innovation or this is not innovation i would like to ask this question after some time we also need to very much understand the difference between what is invention and what is innovation people often use these terms and words interchangeably when invent when x-ray was introduced for the first time you know it was an invention because it resulted in new knowledge it was created something new right 
while there was a medical x-ray that has come up so it was already x-ray was there but transformation of an idea or resource into useful application let's use it for this particular purpose right or let's say somebody introduced hair dye for the first time and that hair dye was used by farmers to uh, you know color the buffaloes that becomes innovation a um, washing machine was introduced for the first time for you know a uh, uh, washing of clothes while the 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 farmers using washing machine for churning the lassi becomes innovation so invention is creation of something new and result in new knowledge of course any invention having a commercialized value is also innovation but also transformation of existing idea into useful application or result in new product or service is innovation right so um you know and of course we all know that the necessity is mother of invention profit motive and creativity are the patents of innovation so there are many products which has been created on those grounds so definitely when we say innovation is not science it's not prototype it's not market just a technology is not innovation just creation of a new device or inventing something is not innovation just creation of a new product or service is not innovation until and unless it changes your behavior it changes socio economic value it can it can be commercialized if we try and analyze the existing entrepreneurs in the market you'll find that truly new novel and absolute innovative ideas are just 3 to 4% rest 96% are either enhancement extension or specialization when i say enhancement i basically mean it's about improvement in the existing product refinement of features it could be cheaper better faster or more user friendly or it is extension to existing features or specialization like you're creating a very very niche product right so if we look at it um you know there are uh, when we talk specifically about uh, technological aspect there is disruptive there is radical there is incremental and there is architectural innovation when i said disruptive i basically mean technology or new business model that disrupts the existing market all together you're trying to bring a change into the existing market so say for example um instant messengers 3d printing that was a disruption all together into the existing market when i say um radical innovation let's say uh, which is quite breakthrough let's say cloud computing that's radical all together brought a change the virtual platform all together brought a change when i say um digital currency the paytms and all digital wallets are also part of your you know disruptive innovation when we say incremental it is basically gradual continuous improvement on existing products and services so all the time that we keep seeing the new versions of windows coming in or microsoft office coming in it's an incremental innovation uh, uh, you know cadbury dairy milk coming up with some additional uh, changes into the product incremental innovation right and then when i say architectural basically Uh, it's a significant improvement on a product that aims to sustain the position in an existing market so for example there were photocopiers available and then there came a desktop photocopier it's already an existing uh, photocopier coming up with a printer right so it's an architectural change into the product into an existing market so of course these things are with the technology that you know the brands follow but all have them at commercial angle so it could be descriptive radical incremental architectural when we were talking about enhancement extensions and specification you can see the circle is depicting in between you have a circle and then it got enhanced extension means you're bringing line extensions to the product and specialization 
you, you already have a product and with that you're coming up with a niche product. Let's have a look at a couple of examples. When I say enhancement, uh, you know, remove from DOS to Windows. We have improved the user's, enhanced the user's experience. We have moved from mechanical watch to quartz watch to smartwatches today. You know, we have, we have the, the kind of modems we have used is using today's is change. So if you move from ordinary TV to flat screen TV to OLEDs, or desktop PCs to laptops to tablets, you know. So industrial in innovations are generally the examples of enhancements. When we talk about extensions, uh, I mean, look at extension. For example, at Woodbrush, I'll also talk about the imagery, but look at what uh, there was a time people were using datun from datun we moved to normal toothbrushes toothbrushes now with uh, coming up with some you know built-in toothpaste and uh, tongue cleaners and you know uh, indicators to show that whether it's working or not we moved to electric to chargeable toothbrushes and two electric toothbrushes and the price points are also changed. A 10 rupees toothbrush to 2,000 rupees toothbrush. During COVID time, all of us have seen mask. A, a classic example where you have surgical mask, you have those blue mask, you have, uh, you know, um, the different uh, medical mask available. And then on top of that, there were mask matching with your outfit. There were mask matching uh, with the chain coming in. There were customized mask. And then there were electric mask. Uh, and the mask coming from brands like Philips worth 7,000 rupees, which has an air filter into it. So same products got extended, you know, in the pens and mobile handsets, you can see so many examples of extensions happening. And now very recently, even the finger ring, people were buying this Diwali, the digital rings where you can make, uh, which can be used as a wallet for making payments. When I talk about specializations, you know, uh, once, like say, for example, at IHMR, we specialize into health-based programs. So it's a very, very niche area. Uh, Low-cost airlines or, you know, uh, somebody who's offering only financial advisory services. It's a very specific area, super speciality hospital, finishing schools, you know, all these are examples of specializations. Um, let's talk about the different types of innovation and they can be categorized into three ways, which is configuration based on experience and based on the offerings. Um, so let me explain that in the subsequent slide. The first category is configuration means back backend things based on the backend operations within the organization. Also, a lot of organizations innovate. So let's say New York Times, their model is a profit model, how to make money. They pivoted from its traditional ad-driven media model to a digital user subscription. Many of us might be Googling and you know looking at uh, uh, information on New York Times. And based on that, New York Times actually came up with an idea that why not have a digital newspaper? And that become their one of the uh, first model. If we talk about based on structure, Google made a lot of changes in structure. Anyways, this is one company which is known for its innovation. So 20s rule, which allowed employees to work on on-site projects, led to the creation of Gmail and Google News. If we talk about network, I think Henry Ford was one of the first industrialists to control his entire supply chain, a strategy letter called vertical integration means the entire supply chain has been controlled by the organization and Ford was the pioneer into it. If we talk about process-based innovation, McDonald's was the one who introduced this to the world. McDonald's franchisees were encouraged to develop and launch their own new food items, leading to wins such as Ag and uh, McMuffin, and they've become commercialized products at a later date. So, uh, when we talk about configuration, basically there are these four models uh, which were profit model, structural changes, network changes, process changes. When we talk about innovation, I think this is the examples and the idea that comes to everybody's mind that, you know, innovation is product performance or introducing a new product or system in the market. And this is innovation. Spotify is a classic example of it. 
it created a seamless music streaming product that lacked com uh, competition in terms of speed, responsiveness, and user experience. In fact, we are very own example from Jaipur. So say, for example, you go to Tapri uh, at Jaipur and you, know, you can have Tapri playlist on Spotify. Um, so, you know, that's how they are trying to uh, cash on a brand name also. And the brands are leveraging the offerings of each other together. Um, when we talk about product system, you know, Apple. Apple has been an extensive ecosystem of products that work together, creating ad additional uh, value for users. So Apple iPhones have been known in the market um, uh, for a long, long period of time for its innovation. In fact, the Apple's logo itself speak about, uh, you know, its creativity. In fact, Apple has been innovative in terms of offering for this. It's iTunes, you know, they replace Sony Walkman's long uh, uh, market share with the iTunes uh, being introduced at 99, uh, you know, cents into the market. And then the third category is called experience. When we talk about experience, you have service, you have channel, customer engagement, or brand. By any of these means, one can be innovative. Amazon Prime, classic example. I think each one of us who is here has been experiencing the services from Amazon and Amazon Prime. We don't mind paying 1000 bucks for a year or 1500 bucks for a year to get a Prime service because we feel that Amazon has become so much part and parcel of our life, right? So Amazon Prime comes with free expedited shipping, which can have products came as fast as within two hours in some of the metro areas. In fact, in terms of service, uh, Netflix very recently charged pricing for movies like KGF to the viewers and which was only available for 48 hours to watch and people paid 200 rupees to watch KGF on Netflix rather than going to a multiplex. When we, when we talk about channels, Nespresso locks in customers with its Nespresso club as well as through online sales of single use coffee pots. Amazing way of connecting with the customer 360 degree. When we talk about branding, I think Patagonia is, Patagonia is one example. It's a brand activism which links to environmental causes, you know. So whatever they create at Patagonia, they talk about that it is linked to the environment. Zara is another brand which talks about, uh, you know, social and environmental value. And they create experience for users. Customer segment. Mercedes has launched an augmented reality honors manual. Uh, you know, that replaces its bulky predecessor while also highlighting drivers and car data. So uh, a brand like Mercedes is using AR and VR and trying to connect with the customers. Okay, let me ask a very simple question. Which innovation expanded the global addressable market for mobile communication the most? After the invention of mobile telephone itself. Any guesses? Um, okay. This is actually prepaid. A small change in billing opened new markets in Africa, Asia, Latin, uh, Latin America. In fact, Paytm with demonetization moment, Paytm was another classic innovation. So the question is, Again, what is an innovation? Technological innovation? Yes. Commercial, commercialized technological innovation. Intel Insight. In all our laptops, we can see this Intel sticker. Laptops are there, but then Intel has become an essential ingredient of our laptops. Um, let's try and look at this, um, you know, sushi food chain in Japan. They are using conveyor belt technology. In case if it is not audible, please let me know. Now we are in a little sushi restaurant. Um, this restaurant is called Genkai Maru. 
Yeah, this kind of sushi shop is um, called Taiping Sushi in Japanese. And it's like with this conveyor that it's always keep, keep on going. But therefore, it is more cheap. And uh, because there are also another kind of sushi, sushi restaurant without this conveyor. But it's more expensive. So, yeah, I can recommend you to go like in a real kind of sushi. It's very Japanese. So now we make the green tea. So first you have to put the powder, the green tea powder, into this little cup. And then, so there's also an English menu, which makes it really easy and convenient for... Yeah, for I'm us. skipping the video. I'll, I'll only show the important part yeah. of it. The blue plate. It's just 98 yen. And this yellow... Yeah, it's good. So what? Hey, oh yeah, it's hot. Basically, um, you know, um, it's a long video and it will talk about a lot of things. Lot You can see below the plates, there is a chip. And on the conveyor belt, that chip moves. So when you order, the order comes automatically to your desk. And the billing, uh, when you put the uh, plate back, it also get counted. For every product, the dishes have been identified and uh, it's automatically decoded. And in fact, if there is a lower demand, centralized team can operate and, you know, um, decide and divert the people at different places. In fact, this conveyor belt technology has been used by now one of the restaurants in Pune, in India also. Similarly, we have uh, this Amazon Go services where you just check in and check out from the store without making a payment. Uh, when you enter into the store and you swipe your mobile, things get automatically, the data gets recorded and you check out also by swiping your mobile. You don't have to do anything. And if you pick a product, it get built. If you again keep the product, it will get off carted again. So that's technological innovation which has been used by the brands for commercialized purpose. When we talk about process innovation, you can see that a, a, a car, a car goes, has some 800 to 1000 different parts which has been put together and uh, mingled into a product. So Honda has very beautifully tried to decode that. So how multiple parts get assembled together and forms a product is what they're trying to show. Uh, process innovation can not, is not only just in products, but also you'll find the process innovation, let's say, um, when the government say we have a one point form or an Aadhaar card, if you look at it, it's a process innovation because it's been linked to multiple things and your life becomes much easier. Just work. That's in commercial for Honda Accord. I mean, look at product like tender coconut, you know, uh, um, 
I mean, I personally find it very difficult to peel off the shell and, you know, uh, have a tender coconut at home. And I find it so dirty. Kaibar fingers cut jati hai, lag jati hai, all that. ID Fresh is one company which has come up with an innovative idea. How they have come up with this tender coconut. Look at the beautiful packaging. All that you need to do is remove the sticker, put the straw inside and drink. Very well made product and now very easily available. Not much available in North, Northern India, but you'll find it very easily available in South India. In fact, this is one company known for doing a lot of innovation. I mean, look at it. They have this um, idli dosa batter coming in. You know, they're saying why you have to have a separate batter for idli and dosa, which generally people use the same one. So they've come up with idli dosa batter. Product innovation is mobile phone is what that's what we've been, uh, you know, talking about. If you look at it, IKEA is one company that all of us know that. And the psychology behind IKEA stores was very clear that Indian consumers find it, uh, you know, difficult to have their furniture at their home when you purchased it or ordered it, you know, and all of us wanted when we have invested, let's say one lakh rupees in uh, buying a double bed and uh, side tables, etc., or a dining table. I want it immediately at home. I don't want it, you know, coming after a day and then somebody will come and assemble the product or it's too bulky to carry and keep it. So IKEA actually came up with a concept of do it yourself furniture. They said, dismantle the entire furniture, go home, assemble it yourself and have fun of having your own furniture together and that really worked in favor of ikea it was very popular in the international market but that also worked for them in international uh, indian market now we have ikea stores coming up already in hyderabad bangalore and mumbai and uh, so that's a classic example of business model innovation I know we are in a commodity market where the price is key, but I believe we can sell the goods for 10x as much as before. I mean, can you think about a commodity which has been sold for a 10x price in market? Actually, it is Nespresso. And then if you go from Nespresso to Starbucks, you can see how this innovation has been commercialized beautifully over here. Transistors were invented at the end of 1940s, right? Um, and how importance of business model thinking and innovation comes into picture is a classic example. Sony made in 1955 a successful product out of the transistor and developed a successful business mo model out of it for the next 50 years. And when Sony Walkmans were introduced in the market, these marketing guys, you know, used to travel and sit back and there was no nothing to do for them. So when they came up with this idea and went to the company, uh, you know, Walkman, people actually resisted that idea. Sony even did the market research and market research refused that they should come up with something like this. But when the product was introduced, it was almost there in the market for 50 years. Uh, this guy was the inventor of Tetra Pak systems. You know, he realized how to how to make Tetra Packs. He could have sold this packaging machines because he created these machines. But no, he sold the package services. He created these Tetra Packs and become the revolutionary for Tetra Packs in the country. So business model innovation beats technology, product, or process. I mean, this is something which is very dear to my heart. If you look at it, what a wonderful product innovation. And social innovation.
so you can see that you know how uh, a, a product has been created using the of course um, connecting to the people in rural india so social innovation basically i would say of course it is commercialized not commercialized to that extent but you know a product which can be converted into a study table which can be converted into a bag and also give you a kind of a light when you want to use it a wonderful innovation and understanding the socio economic needs of the people um this is one of our uh, alumni and uh, uh, our startup which we are supporting here at ihma uh, again they 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 identified a very simple and classic social problem which was the you know uh, the rural women or especially women uh, you know do not carry the medical records they have no idea how to keep them so we created a locket for less than 1 dollar rupee which they can wear it and the locket has a chip which has medical records which doctors can exams and chances now is that advances in healthcare happen in the most unexpected places like the minds of these college students who saw a simple solution to a complex health problem that's how kushi baby was born a way to prevent 1 and 1/2 million children in rural india from dying every year simply by digitizing medical records and getting mothers and children to carry them at all times how by creating a chip in the shape of a culturally accepted talisman the cost less than a dollar johnson and johnson is proud to provide financial and mentorship support to the inventors of kushi baby this year's winners of the gen h challenge to promote and distribute their life enhancing device it's the small changes that change everything right so as i mentioned a very small change but that changed a lot of things and this one is again very very interesting sambar and the spoon is put in it so as he was putting the spoon i grabbed it from his hand and when my thumb on it it was greasy i took a sniff, a sniff of it it was already spreading of sambar it's been greased you know plastic has got so many chemical complexes in it phthalates chelates bisphenols this cause cancer this leads into food they don't biodegrade but still we using whole lot of plastic this was all kept away why am i doing this answer obviously is there is no alternative oh well we have an alternative now we'll come up with an alternative and that is edible cutlery here there is no coating in fact it is entirely nutritious you can eat up the spoon delicious it is made of jowar blended with rice and wheat without preservatives just like dehydrated vegetables our product also has a very long shelf life more than 3 years in fact you can even have a hot soup also you can uh, stir your sugar and have your tea you can eat it up you don't want to eat it you can just throw it it decomposes within 4 to 5 days इसका सही बात पहले बार देखे तो लकड़ी समझी में मगर अरे गांव में स्टार्ट हो के काम शुरू किया बात साथ में डाल के अपन काय बहुत टेस्टी रहता मैडम
I brought in this edible category and trying to promote a market for millets and motivate farmers to move away from rice. Plastic is very cheap, true. But I can make it as cheap. I can. With volumes. And once when I get the volumes, I get on to the farmers directly and start procuring raw materials directly from the farmers, in which case my spores will be as cheap as the plastic spores. So now the cutlery is tasty, fun, nutritious, and environment friendly. That's edible cutlery. Of course, this is supported by Marico Foundation. But uh, um, even now, you look at it, Niti Aayog and Atal Innovation Mission is now coming up with a, a you know innovation, uh, asking for innovative ideas using millets, right? And edible cutlery. If you look at it, edible cutlery was always there for. I mean, say for example, your ice cream cones is always an edible cutlery where you eat ice cream and then also eat the cones. And then people are thinking about now even the crockery coming in. So, and he made it commercialized. So when you play with volumes and you play with, uh, you know, scaling up, um, you are able to commercialize the products. Uh, I mean, look at this, how the, 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 the travel bags we used to carry, these trolley bags, suitcases, even the trolley bags, bags if you look at it, replaced the porters at some of the places and then comes something like this which is uh, very interesting ladies and gentlemen flight 1427 to new york is now boarding at gate three please hurry so you can find a place to store your carry-on luggage assuming you were even able to carry it on and the airline didn't make you check it because you packed too much hopefully you all have a blue smart the world's first smart carry-on suitcase introducing blue smart the first carry-on that connects to your smartphone with revolutionary features, including a digital lock, proximity sensors, location tracking, trip tracking information, a built-in digital scale, and if that wasn't enough, a built-in battery that can charge your phone six times over. Designed for today's sophisticated traveler. And even guys like this. Pull the handle, and the app will tell you the exact weight of your carry on so that you never have. Right, so uh, the Blue Smart contains everything that one looks for. Even it, it has weighing machine to measure how much is the weight inside it. You can track it. Somebody else if carry your uh, uh, bag, you know, you can track and figure out where the product is. So all those options are available. I mean, look at it, how we used to have water when we were there in earlier days. And then come the bottle of water. And just imagine... We never thought that water could be one product that could be uh, come into this innovative packaging bottles and commercialized. And with this, we have now Tetra packs and portable waters coming in. So innovation is all about small changes to make life easier. Need for lighter and more convenient transport of luggage is what uh, the Blue Smart did. Need for safe drinking water away from home is what bottled waters have happened. So small innovations can definitely lead to big businesses. Innovation is a continuous process. So if you look at it, we, we already talked about it. You know how it has been transitioned from a 10 rupees toothbrush to 2000 rupees brush. In fact, uh, the world's largest taxi company, Uber, doesn't have any vehicles. Facebook uh, has no media owners and content creation. Airbnb is the world's largest accommodation provider and they own no real estate. So something interesting is happening all around that. And then all of them have been able to commercialize. That's innovation. So a simple framework that I have for everyone is find what you love to do. You know, become an expert in the field you love and have passion. Seek opportunities in that area, you know, open your mind, um, have a mental flaws, um, look into that, 
identify the problems or opportunity, challenge the assumption, find out why this is happening, why somebody will buy your product and how can you be innovative? You know, challenge those assumptions and try to commercialize and come up with a product. Set goals and objectives. Very clearly define what you want to do. What are your objectives? What do you want to achieve out of it? Seek novelty in design. So as I was mentioning, um, Junio and Transcorp has very recently launched this digital payment ring. And when we were doing that, we, what we were trying to see is how can the ring looks appealing, digital ring, how much secure it is and why somebody is going to buy my ring. So can I, can I think about that? And is this really a problem for people that they want something like this? Has to be figured out very clearly when you are coming up with something innovative and you would like to commercialize it. And finally, just do it. Do not afraid to fall. It happens, you may fall down multiple times, you might have to take risk, you, but you have to move forward. If you, if you keep thinking about it, sleep over it, it won't work. So innovations happens like that. All that you need to understand is identify a problem and come up with a solution to solve the problem and how important you find the problem is. Thank you so much, and I'll be happy to answer any questions. Thank you, Dr. Shinu Jen, for that wonderful presentation. Now, I would like to invite our participants to present their views or observations and uh, ask questions, if any. Uh, I would request you to please raise your hands one by one and I can call you by name. So the floor is open for discussion. Dr. Mavita, first of all, I would like to appreciate and uh, thank Dr. Sino for such a wonderful, excellent presentation, really demystifying innovative innovation concept. Lots of examples. Uh, the, they have clarified uh, the concept of innovation, what is innovation, what is not innovation. In fact, these are the problems when we talk about innovation first time. Even uh, you have listened many times, then also you are confused. Should we call it innovation or not? And uh, uh, what kind of product, what kind of service can come in the category of innovation? So that way you have clarified very well. Really, it is a very excellent presentation. Thank you very much. Uh, Thank you so much, sir. Yes, now, Mamita, you can continue with the question answer. Yeah, thank you, uh, Dr. Sharma. Uh, Divyandu Chatterjee, you want to ask or you want to uh, yeah. say something? Yeah. Yes. So when we do innovation, how to do prior search, whether anyone else has done similar work on the innovation? And might be the application of the use case will be different, but the technology under it is already been developed. So what are the consideration to make uh, to, to before applying for uh, to, for example if you want to go forward with an innovation right so what are the prior search or research to be done whether anyone else is doing similar research or not what are what are conflicting areas so if you would like to throw some light on those so um, one is when we are coming up with something very new, right? We all go for patents and copyrights and you know design patents and um, GIs, all intellectual property rights that one go for, right? For all IPR registrations, now Government of India has an amazing site where all the required information is available. All you need to do is go on their website and search with the similar names and ideas that you have been building and working upon it. That's one way of looking at it for IPRs and something which is very, very new, already there in the market. Second uh, line of thing that one can think about is, uh, of course, Google is a dearth of information, but at the same time, it also causes uh, a trouble in the sense that we are not able to identify the right set of information uh, sometimes. So um, one of the ways to search for these information about ideas and to look at it is Google Trends. You know, when you go on Google Trends and you search on these ideas, you will be able to figure out if somewhere else in the world, somebody is talking about it or using it. You can get those information from there also. 
that's another way of looking at it um uh, in terms of technology or ideas um there are many times we see that uh, in india we, lot of things has been replicated in somewhere else in some other country and we are trying to replicate it in indian context so for that again you know um, there are now sites available where you can see about the technology transfers and uh, patents and uh, copyrights happened in other countries so from there also you can track and identify those information did i answer your question yeah yes sure thank you Uh, yes, Piyush Sharma, you want to say something? Uh, Shinu, madam, apne, did you uh, understand Hindi or not? Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand Hindi. Uh, uh, madam, you have given a lot of good things to me. I really like it. What, when, and why? In the three things, what, when, and why? Absolutely. जब तक तीन चीजें नहीं होगी तब तक नवाचार नहीं होगा बिल्कुल सही। तो, है ना तो मैं यही चाहता हूँ कि जानना चाहता हूँ कि जो भी आदमी नवाचार करना चाहता है वो क्या सोचे और क्या करे और कब करे सबसे अच्छा तरीका इसके लिए एक ही है लुक अराउंड यू आपके चारों तरफ आपका इंटरनल एनवायरमेंट या आपका एक्सटर्नल एनवायरमेंट दोनों में आप देखेंगे तो वो प्रॉब्लम से भरा हुआ है आप अपने आई डू अ वेरी सिंपल एक्सरसाइज आल्सो इन द क्लास बच्चों को बोलती हूँ एक न्यूज़पेपर उठाओ आज का अखबार उठाया उस अखबार को जब आप पढ़ेंगे और देखेंगे आपको कई सारे आइडियाज आएंगे आइडियाज बहुत सारे होते हैं सबसे पहली स्टेज यही होती है कि पहले तो प्रॉब्लम्स को आइडेंटिफाई करना कि क्या प्रॉब्लम्स चल रही हैं और कैन यू थिंक अबाउट अ सोल्यूशन टू अलाइन विद दैट प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन योर इंटरेस्ट एरिया से से फॉर एग्जाम्पल अब मुझे टेक्नोलॉजी में इंटरेस्ट है या मुझे सर्विसेज में इंटरेस्ट है या मुझे फूड में इंटरेस्ट है सपोज मुझे खाने पीने में ही कुछ नया करना है मुझे इंटरेस्ट है लेट मी एक्सप्लोर एंड सी अराउंड कि खाने पीने से रिलेटेड लोगों की क्या प्रॉब्लम्स हैं लुक एट दोज प्रॉब्लम एनालाइज दोज प्रॉब्लम्स एंड देन कम अप विद सोल्यूशन टू दोज प्रॉब्लम टाइम की बात आपकी बिल्कुल सही है कि जो भी होना चाहिए टाइमली होना चाहिए पर सो uh, so, to be in the recent uh, current uh, environment the best is what is the current problems that going on kyunki commercialize kab kar sakte hain aap kisi bhi product ko jab samne wale customer ko usme value dikhegi if i find value in a product hum sab ne zoom aur microsoft teams ko kab adopt kiya jab hamari problem badh gayi covid aaya hame laga hum uske bina kaam nahi kar sakte hain ye pehle bhi the zoom to pehle bhi tha teams pehle bhi tha लेकिन कमर्शियलाइज उस एंगल तक कब हुए राइट टाइम आने पर राइट टाइम कब आया जब लोगों ने उसकी नीड को महसूस किया उन्हें उसकी जरूरत लगी एंड दे वर विलिंग टू पे फॉर इट तो जितनी बड़ी प्रॉब्लम है और उतना अच्छा सोल्यूशन आप उसका निकालेंगे कमर्शियलाइज बहुत आसानी से हो जाता है अगर प्रॉब्लम बहुत बड़ी नहीं है पर आपने फिर भी कुछ इनोवेशन किया है उसकी कमर्शियल वैल्यू कम होती है तो उसके लिए कई बार आपको सही वक्त की जरूरत महसूस होती है अगर हम बात करें कि सपोज लुक एट ई कॉमर्स ही देख लीजिए आज की तारीख में आप अमेजोन या फ्लिपकार्ट या मीशो मीशो फॉर एग्जाम्पल मीशो हैज बिकम अ बिग बिजनेस पोर्टल फॉर वुमेन कैसे बन गया वो सबने ई कॉमर्स तो बहुत सालों पहले आ गया था आई थिंक वे बैक वेन आई वॉज इन कॉलेज मे बी इन टू थाउजेंड आई वॉज रीडिंग अबाउट ई कॉमर्स बट हम सब ने नहीं सोचा था कि वो इतना बड़ा आस्पेक्ट बन सकता है कमर्शलाइज हो सकता है इस एंगल तक बट इफ यू लुक एट इट टूडे लेकिन जिन्होंने अर्ली मूवर एडवांटेज लिया दे गॉट बेटर अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड बेटर वैल्यू फॉर इट सो इट इज ऑल अबाउट अंडरस्टैंडिंग द प्रॉब्लम और राइट टाइम पे उसके सोल्यूशन लोगों को प्रोवाइड करना इफ पीपल फाइंड वैल्यू they will buy your product for sure piyush ji maine aapke sawal ka jawab de payi ji 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 madam bilkul 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 thank you thank you madam thank you kisi aur ko kuch uh, sawal puchna hai kehna hai yes dr nayak please 
Uh, first of all, I congratulate uh, Dr. Senu Jain uh, uh, for this wonderful presentation. As Dr. Sarma said, it was a really demystifying innovation. I have been the member of this NCID for the last two years, but I think it is one of the best sessions that I have attended. And our students who attend this, I am pretty sure they will be inspired by your, this uh, inspiring presentation. Uh, और पर्टिकुलरली जो एग्जांपल्स आप दिखाए प्रयास का जो था प्लस आपका जो स्मार्ट ब्लू स्मार्ट समथिंग लाइक दैट जो आपके कैरी माने मतलब लगेज का जो था प्लस एडिबल स्पून्स ऑल दीस थिंग्स दे आर रियली इंस्पायरिंग और मुझे लगता है कि जैसा आप बताया कि द इनपुट दैट यू गेव कि लुक अराउंड यू एंड द प्रॉब्लम दैट यू फाइंड यू कैन थिंक ऑफ सॉल्यूशंस जैसे आपने सही बताया कि टेक्नोलॉजी के नॉट बी इनोवेशन ऑल द टाइम योर योर आइडिया 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 रिगार्डिंग ए प्रॉब्लम मतलब व्हाट सॉल्यूशंस दैट यू कैन थिंक ऑफ फॉर ए प्रॉब्लम व्हिच इज अराउंड यू एंड टेक्नोलॉजी कैन बी वन ऑफ द सॉल्यूशंस मतलब टेक्नोलॉजी के माध्यम से हम सॉल्यूशन तक पहुंच सकते हैं लेकिन टेक्नोलॉजी को छोड़ के भी देयर कुड बी मेनी अदर ऑप्शंस वेयर आइडियाज कैन लीड टू इनोवेशन थैंक यू सो मच बहुत बढ़िया रहा थैंक यू And we would love to have you in one of our sessions, Dr. Bhatia. Bye, Dr. Bhatia. Any time, I'll be more than happy. Ah, thank you, thank you. Namaskar. Sabhi ko congratulations. Thank you. Namaskar. Do we have any other observations or views or queries? I would also like to congratulate you, Dr. Shino. It was a wonderful session, a great learning experience for all of us, and uh, the I, uh, lesson that keen observation is the key to innovation. That also was uh, really great. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, ma'am. So, if we do not have any other queries or views, I think we. Are uh, ready to wind up the session. So, uh, I, on behalf of the Institutions Innovation Council and CID, would like to express my gratitude to our speaker, Dr. Shinu Jain, for interacting with our students and faculty. And uh, I would like to thank our organizers, Dr. Mamta Bhatia, Regional Director, RC Jaipur, and her team at RC Jaipur. I thank all the directors, regional directors, faculty members, IIC members, and students who have participated in today's webinar and enriched it with their deliberations. I thank Dr. Upi Sharma, Director NCID, mm -hmm. and the President IIC for his guidance. Lastly, I thank Mr. Pawan Kumar at NCID for his valuable technical assistance in the smooth conduct of today's program. Namaste. Thank you so much, Namaste, Jai Bharat. Ah.